Hello Good day sa lahat Nandito na naman tayo Para talakayin ang topic na Relative And true bearing But before anything else Please subscribe on my channel And please don't forget to hit the Notification bell Para updated ka sa mga susunod na videos Related sa maritime na ating ipipost sa ating channel So by the way I am Chief Mate John Ray Serum, a maritime instructor from the University of Cebu. So, ano ba itong bearing? So, this is the angle obtained from the ship's reference from the bow, from the ship's bow, or through course. Since we have two types of bearing, the relative and then the true bearing. This is from the ship's reference to a known target or object. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito sa picture dito sa ibaba, so, galing sa barko, so, galing sa own ship, papunta doon sa uh, target or object. So, itong target or object, marirelate natin to doon sa use. No? Ano ba itong, anong, anong gamit nitong bearing? sa navigation so the importance of this is it helps the mariner to fix own ship's position so pwede nating malaman yung position ng barko given the uh, lateral markings so dito sa picture sa ibaba sa batang kanan makikita nyo marami mga guwit ng lin linya at itong uh, parang uh, bilog no? dito sa gitna ito yung position ng barko so, gamit yung mga bearing ng uh, iba't ibang uh, lateral markings, so, pwede natin malaman ang ating position. So, yan ang tinatawag na position fixing. Then, we have helps the mariner to determine risk of collision so as to avoid close quarter situation. So, itong ang bearing is nandito to nakapaloob sa call reg rule number 7, risk of collision. So, the risk of collision exists if the compass bearing of an approaching vessel does not appreciably change. So, let's go on to true bearing. So, true bearing is the bearing. So, we have already defined what is bearing uh, of a known target or object obtained from the paper or electronic navigational charts. It has a compass rose within it which determines the, the true direction, the true course, and the true bearing of a known target or object. So, ito na sa ibaba, example to ng uh, Mercator chart. And itong magenta color, itong dalawang uh, parang bilog sa pointer ko. Ito yung tinatawag na compass rose. So, ito ay ginagamit natin no? para ma-determine yung true course at yung true bearing. Next is the relative bearing. So, it is a kind of bearing of a known target or object which is obtained no? from the ship's bow uh, measured 360 degrees clockwise direction. So, itong uh, relative bearing is measured, no? Sa actual is makukuha natin sa dito sa ship's pillaros. So, we have here example of a true bearing. So, this is our ship. And uh, we have here the magenta color, which is the compass rose. Okay. So, we have here the true course. So, this is the true course of the ship. Okay. So, we have 209. So, this is 209 degrees true. So, this is the true course. And we have here the charted object, a boy, you know, and uh, we obtain its bearing. So 
you just uh, simply flat it by means of a line from uh, the center of your own shape going to that object known object and uh, we have here uh, we can see here directly that the true bearing of this object is 104.5 so like for example uh, kuha tayo ng ibang target so itong ano na to itong object na ito ito yung pagkukuha na natin okay so uh, right immediately we can determine the the true bearing no? just have a straight line from no? because that is the definition of a bearing from your ship going to a known target or object okay so this is the how much is this one we have 159 so this is 159 degrees true so that is how you obtain true bearing so ito ngayon yung tanong pa paano kung yung barko natin is wala sa gitna nitong compass rose sa actual hindi talaga ganun wala talaga siya sa, sa loob nasa labas talaga siya parate now uh, we have ways in order for us to uh, bring the shape's uh, course, no? determining the shape's course by means of using pair of triangles or we have on board the parallel rollers. So we are going to transfer no? the line and uh, going to the center of the compass rose so it's just like bringing the ship no? yung barko na nasa uh, labas ng uh, compass rose just like bringing the ship inside the compass rose that is why kanina yung mga pinakita ko sa inyo na examples nasa loob yung barko kasi ganun din yung gagawin nyo kailangan yung i-transfer doon yung mismo uh, bearing huh? or yung force para malaman ninyo kung ilan yung value so dito sa bearing ganito naman sya so you just need to bring that one on the center so that you will be able to determine the value of the true bearing so we have here the example of a relative bearing so let's assume that your ship is underway natakbo yung barko natin and uh, upon uh, checking the environment we have here the uh, lighthouse observed and you use your pillarose so itong pillarose natin um, just like what I have mentioned, itong uh, compass card na nasa ilalim is hindi siya gumagalaw, meaning naka-fix siya. At itong azimuth circle, ito lang yung ginagamit natin para makuha natin yung relative bearing. So, ginamit natin yung uh, pelorus natin at nakuha natin itong 220 degrees no? relative and uh, yung gusto natin is malaman natin kung ano, kung uh, ano yung equivalent niya doon sa true bearing okay now una sa lahat dapat, mag, dapat malaman natin kung ano yung true course ng barko so uh, we have assumed that the true course of the ship you know, based on our problem is 151 degrees 151 degrees true so ano yung equivalent nito sa true okay so uh, since the measurement of a relative bearing is going clockwise direction so you are going on a clockwise direction so it means na uh, kailangan lang natin siyang 
i-add no? doon sa true course natin. So, we have the true course which is 151 uh, plus uh, 200 220 degrees. So, this is equivalent to 371. Now, uh, there's no such thing as 361 kasi circle lang ito. Hanggang 360 lang siya. So, of course, we need to uh, subtract uh, the 360 degrees value given the point na nandun na siya sa 360 and kailangan mo lang malaman kung ilan yung ilan yung natira so 371 minus 360 that is equal to uh, 11 degrees so, so 11 degrees the equivalent is 0, 1, 1 degrees true now how about if uh, we will have another uh, two course no? so I will give you another example it's like 210 degrees so we need to change the so we need to figure out uh, kung ilan no? uh, I mean kung ano yung equivalent kung 200 we just need to compute, no? So, we add lang natin yung 200, 220. So, 220 plus 210. So, we have 430. Again, we don't have 430, that's so why we need to figure out the remaining after 360 degrees. That's why we need to subtract it by 360 degrees. So, nandun na siya sa 300. 60 degrees. Ang tanong is ilang degrees na lang yung yung kulang no? para makompleto yung 420 degrees. So, sabi dito is 70 degrees. So, the equivalent is 70 degrees. This is 70 degrees. Okay. So, ito yung uh, ano niya? Uh, relative bearing niya. Okay ng lighthouse. I mean, true bearing, sorry. Ito yung true bearing ng lighthouse. Which is 0, 0, 7, 0 degrees. Let's have another example. 0, 5, 0. Let's assume that the, the, this one is 0, 5, 0. So, you, while the ship is underway, um, Meron kang nakita doon na target sa ano, uh, sa starboard side mo and uh, upon checking the Peloros you have there the reading of 0, 5, 0 degrees relative 300 degrees yung ano, yung course so bagoy na din ito okay, so you have there uh, 300 degrees so Ano nga ba yung equivalent nito? Uh, 050 degrees doon sa true bearing. So, we just need to add. Huh? We just need to add the three the 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 reading huh? from the the reading from the Belarus, which is 0, 050 0 degrees. So 50 plus how much? So it's not exactly 310. Let's assume that this is 311. And uh, we have 361. And there's no such thing as 361. So after 360, how much is the remaining? So we have only one. So we have there. Uh, 0, 0, 1 degrees through which is the equivalent of the 0, 5, 0 degrees relative while the ship has the true course of 3, 1, 1 degrees ok so that is uh, on the on the actual side that is how you, you convert it so you first need to check the relative bearing from the ship's failure rows and after that, uh, you check your uh, Mercator or navigational chart in order for you to determine 
uh, what is the true bearing okay, now take note that I am reading the outside reading of the um, compass rose because this reading indicates the true direction the outside and the inside indicates the difference of magnetic variation okay so the outside circle is true and this one is um, for the magnetic reading so that is why they are not the same so they have a uh, discrepancy a little bit of discrepancy because the the locality itself is affected by the variation now it's another story of determining the variation as well as the compass error uh, for this moment at least that you have already learned so paano mag you know, paano mag convert no, from relative bearing to a true bearing